Adrian, you are from Mexico, you work for a major newspaper in Mexico and you had mm -hmm. some very interesting comments at, in the Press Freedom uh, Roundtable, particularly regarding the relationship between the media and government. Would you like to just, um, just highlight some of your points? Yeah, um, I think one of the bad equilibriums we have in this industry in Mexico and maybe across Latin America is that in this kind of digital uh, transformation we are being uh, experimenting all in all the world about uh, media and especially traditional media newspapers TV radio uh, in Mexico the way that the media industry is finding to survive this crisis is going to the government and getting more public money in a way we call it official advertising that's the way the government are uh, giving money to the media and of course there's no independence in the journalists in Mexico. The most of the media in Mexico are surviving the digital uh, situation with this money. And you have three problems with that. The, pro the first problem is you don't have independence because the journalism is totally controlled, the editorial line uh, by the government because you can say what they want to say. In Mexico, there's a big famous uh, phrase talking about this that no pago para que me pegues. I don't pay if you criticize me. And the second problem is there's no innovation in media because you don't need to create value to the society and make good journalism that is going to be necessary for the people because your money and, and, and your revenues are in the government and not in the market. So, I mean, in your time as a journalist in Mexico, I mean, has there been um, uh, progress? I mean, has it evolved in a positive way? And I mean, what's it like being a journalist uh, also during the Trump era? Um, obviously, there's been a lot of focus around the political situation there. I think we have good news and bad news. The good news is because this kind of, uh, uh, of, of system where government is giving money for, for the more traditional media, these media are uh, losing a lot of credibility. The, all of the polls shows that media in Mexico have a credibility in order to 25% of the population. It's very low, very, very low. It's at the same level that the political class. So um, in that uh, uh, scenario, we have new media, especially in digital, that are making some more independent and more valuable journalism like Sin Embargo, Animal Politico, and, and other new media formed by great journalism that are going independently and making more collaborative ways. But the other problem is about safety. Mexico is one of the most dangerous countries in the world to do journalism. And, and that's because two basically reason. The first attacker for media in Mexico is not the organized crime, but, uh, and it is maybe what people think uh, very usually, it is the political class. Article 19 shows in the last report how more of the uh, a half of the attack, attacks to the media uh, come from the political class. And the second is the censorship and the self-censorship that the organized crime provoke in the media because of course there's a lot of fear. And after this assassination of Miroslava Bridge in Chihuahua and maybe the uh, Javier Valdez assassination, one of the most famous journalists in Mexico and across the region and maybe internationally. Uh, all of the journalists in Mexico have a lot of fear. So we have good news and bad news, but the problem is, of course, is it, it is, we are talking about a very specific situation about safety, impunity, government uh, in Mexico is totally simulating this kind of protection. We have two institutions for that, the mechanism for protection and also a, a special office for prosecutors in this kind of uh, uh, crimes. And all of them receive a lot of money, they have a lot of people, but we have a 99% of impunity in attacks to the media. So we are simulating, we are protecting the media, and we are not doing that.